Hi guys, I thought I'd mix it up today and do a different video for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So today is going to be about my CD collection, or part of it, and it's going to be all old, classic, good old, cheesy, um, 90s um, music back from my childhood days of being happy and, yeah, remembering how good times used to be so i thought i'd share some cds with you so first up we have the spice girls forever cd which i got um a couple of years ago now and got it for a really good um bargain so that's that one and the next one up as you can see is the spice girls albums and the tracks on this one are if I can get my camera to focus on it, there you go. Focus camera. Ah, oh, wanna be mama, say you'll be there, and all the other classic tracks on that one. And then the next one is the Spice Girls Greatest Hits album so again on this one we have wanna be say you'll be there to become one mama who do you think you are move over spice up your life too much stop viva forever let love lead the way holler and headlines and voodoo and goodbye so that's another good um cd that i like and then next up we come on to the steps albums which, if anyone knows, that I've been quite a big Steps fan over the years. So on this CD, which is their spectacular um, CD with the group picture on the back. There we go. Of H, Lee, Faye, Claire and Lisa. And yeah, so that's our next step cd so let's move on to the next one as it were so next one is the steps step one album again with everyone on there with all the um classics such as last thing on my mind five six seven eight one for sorrow heartbeat this the heart will love again experience too weak to resist better best forgotten back to you love you more and stay with me so that's another album that they had there and then next we go on to the steps um greatest gold um let's see if i can get it to let us zoom in there we go steps gold greatest album Again, with all the um, classic tracks on there. And then finally, for Steps, we are, um, I'm showing you their Buzz album, which had um, all the tracks such as these ones here. Here, oh, here we go. So yeah, you got all the classic tracks on the steps ones so i'll show you the uh spice girls ones already so i'll just take them off and next up we have um the s club albums followed by legends of bewitch so here i'll show you some more classic um, CDs that I've collected over my childhood years of different music genres that I like and that I still like to this day so I'll show you the first S Club 7 album which is their Sunshine album and this has um, oh, focus focus there we go I'm going to show you all the tracks on there and next one is their S Club Sing Double Special Edition um, album. There we go. And again, I'll show you the back with the tracks. And that was that was from their Sing Double um, movie. 
which I thoroughly enjoyed and I decided to get the CD. So we're two down out of four for S Club now. Next S Club one is their seven album, which I really, really liked and had quite a lot of decent memories and good tracks. There we go. I'll show you the track list again on there. And then finally, the last S Club um, album, which I'll show you, is their S Club album. Focus camera. Yes, with the picture on. So I'll show you the back track list and photo. There we go. So next up is the Bewitched albums which are called awake and breathe and bewitched and as you can see i've still kept the stickers on um on the front so i like to keep the stickers on to remind me when i bought them and what kind of songs were on there so i tend to keep most of the stickers on the cds and as for the bewitched awake and breathe um I'm having a bit of difficulty showing you this at the moment, but oh, yeah, whoops, it's been a bit haywire. Then there we go, there's the track list. So, yeah, that's that one. And the next one is the Bewitched album. And again, on the back, we have the track list. With all their classic songs such as Say the V and River Up and To You I Belong, which are some of my favourites, so to speak. And then next, I thought not just to do CDs, but to show you some of my favourite films. So here we go with some of the first um, ones that I've picked out of my Disney uh, selection. So let me just put these up so you can see them all so yes we have um mary poppins the little mermaid finding dory inside out peter pan and alice alice in wonderland and alice looking through the looking glass so i thought i'd show you some different disney dvds that tend to be my favorites at the moment and i'll explain why i like each one so mary poppins has always been a long time favourite for me. I like the music. I like Judy Andrews. She's just an outstanding actress. And everything she's been in. It's just been pure legend gold. So yeah. I and Her playing a nanny is just magical. So again. I'll give you a bit of the. Um, prologue what they call it. And show you the back. Sort of little bit of story. So that's Mary Poppins. For you, Little Mermaid has always been one of my childhood favourite films of Disney. I think it's just very, very magical and creative and the songs make you feel good and make you want to sing along and tap your feet. So, The Little Mermaid's always been a childhood favourite. I love the book and I've loved the film for quite some time. So again, I'll just show you the back of the DVD case with the photos of The Little Mermaid on. And again, just to show you the front cover. And here is Ariel and Sebastian with also Flounder on the front. So that's another favourite Disney DVD. So next up we have Finding Dory and the Inside Out DVDs. And Finding Dory is voiced by the American legend that she is. And LGB rights, LB, LGBT rights campaigner Ellen DeGeneres who I absolutely amazing absolute love I think her show is amazing and I just think her voicing this film is just absolutely brilliant and the fact that it shows that there is more equality within the acting world now and that there should still continue to be so I will show you my Finding Dory case so here is Dory and here is Nemo and his dad and some of her other friends Hank in the bottom there so yes this is finding dory and it's just a very uplifting story and yeah very good film overall so next ones 
that we move on to and the final ones that you might be glad to hear are Inside Out, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland 1 and Alice Looking Through the Looking Glass. These films are just again about the pure magic of what Disney is good at doing and um, they are good at doing child childlike films and adult films to get everybody engrossed in the stories. Inside Out is based about people's emotions and how to process how they're feeling and how to tell people. People say it's also about the autistic brain, which I happen to have autism. So I find that a very good, intriguing um, film for adults and children if you want to learn about emotions and behaviour. I probably suggest that you watch that. And um, Peter Pan is, for me, about the magic that a fairy can spread a little bit of love and the fighting scenes between Doc, Doc Captain Hook and Wendy and Peter that is still okay to be a bit childish and you know you need to be grown up. And I just find the whole story magical and makes you just, yeah, believe in alternate reality. Alice in Wonderland is just a brilliant film. I first saw this on the cinema and I really, really, really loved it and saw it with my bestie. I thought it was an absolutely amazing film. And so I went and purchased the DVD. And then recently, more recently, Alice Through the Looking Glass came out on DVD. So I had to purchase this. It has absolutely outstanding actors in, which as you can see, Johnny Depp and Hathaway, Maya Wawiska, Helena Bonham Carter and Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, to name a few big names, they are just amazing actors and they are, it's just again a very good performed film and very believable and the whole alternate with magic. So yeah guys, if you like this video and you'd like to know more about me as a person or what other hobbies I've got, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, bye!